So one thing that I find particularly problematic or tiresome is doing uh, rolls uh, in a drum kit. So uh, I was looking at this Groove Agent one, which I've bought, or Groove Agent, I should say, not Groove Agent one. And um, I, I was just looking at the facility in there because it's got a note repeat. Now I'm used to machine, also an MPC 2000 XL where you can uh, do rolls quite easily using a note repeat function. And I was thinking on uh, Groove Agent, how how easy is it to do it on there? Anyway, uh, when I was looking at doing it, it wasn't immediately obvious and I struggled for quite some while to, to figure it out. But once I did figure it out, I actually found that it was quite easy to do. So I'm just gonna load this vintage uh, house kit. Uh, there's no patterns here. You can see there's no patterns and th some good sounds. I've just got some reverb on when I was practicing earlier. Okay, so I'm interested in this clap and that's on uh, D sharp one. So the way that you do it is you can go into this performance tab here, perform, click active, and there's a few parameters that you can play with. Now you can do rolls that are quarter note with triplet, eights, eights and triplet, sixteenths, and so on and so forth. But also you can add a, a phrase or use some sort of step pattern in order to make the roll have some sort of pat uh, dynamic range or some sort of groove or whatnot. So I just want to show you how to do that quite quickly because it is quite quickly, quite a quick thing to do. So drawing a, a MIDI range there. And this is D1. So D sharp one, let me have a look for it. C, D, there we go. So that's on the black. So I'm only interested in doing a roll in the second half of this second bar. Uh, and what you can do is select which ever note repeat type you want. So I want a 16th roll and that's using key E5, C, D, sorry, let's try again, C, D, E. You draw another MIDI note in there. Okay, so just watch what happens. I'll just press play. Okay, so it works. So what's happening? E5 MIDI note is the repeat, which is then triggering D sharp one clap. Now another thing that you can do, activate this, the phrase, say how long you want to do it for, so 16th for example and this will make it rise. So let's just have a listen. Press play. So you notice the velocity came up, the sounds appear to become louder. Also in there you can add some swing. So I'll do it at 60 because that's my favorite. Let's just have a listen. boost this up a little bit. So there's a bit of groove there. Just get rid of that. Also what you can do is change the length of the uh, phrase so it repeats over a quicker cycle. So this should pulse up and down. Just press play. Okay, so in order to do 16th triplets, I could go to F5. So I'll just scroll up, E, there's F5. So now we're moving on to this one. You can see it's highlighted. Now this one's pretty rigid, so I turn off the phrase. Let's see if that makes any difference. Mm. Turn it on a bit. 
and a bit of velocity curve. Now I expected that to be more swinging. Um, let's try F sharp five. See what that does. Machine gun fire. Let's try eighths on D five. There we go. Okay, so that sounds quite interesting. So let's try this D five. Plus, we'll just copy the note over to E5, so it goes slower and then faster. <clears throat> okay, so on the E5, I've got this rise up there. On the D5, I've got nothing, so I'll add this. See what that sounds like. Okay, so that's not too bad. Make it a bit louder. Do it over the eight because it's sharing the time. <clears throat> okay, so let's add a bit of reverb. See how it sounds. Okay, so for argument's sake, let's also add a kick. Like I say, whenever I use Groove Agent, just for simplicity, I like to use separate instances. Let's create the pattern. Okay, let's have a listen. Follow transport, turn it on. Okay, let's drag that over. Lengthen it out. Let's just cycle it. Okay, so you get the idea of using note repeat to add some sort of drum roll, clap roll, and such like. 